you're, you're a deceitful yeah. bastard, quite frankly. And I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay? What about the retirement age? Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm not Ra talking the to you raising, anymore. The raising... Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not talking to you, Patrick. I'm sorry. What's your every time you, every time you your ask me a question, issue? every time you ask me a question, you change the subject of the interview. And put the word to what you ask. So I'm not, not, not prepared to talk to you anymore. Okay. Is, is your main concern no, no, what happened I, with the uh, uh, decriminalisation no, of and, cannabis? And again, and again this morning. Again this morning. You, is, uh, is, you it started, you no, is it the cannabis story? No. 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 Was, was it my blog where I said that John Banks might replace you as leader? I'm not willing to discuss it, okay? You're not that willing to discuss it, Patrick, okay? You got it? That act might not no, work. No. <laughs> Let me show you the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. I got it. Money, money, money. Show me the money! We'll be showing New Zealand the money tomorrow. Show me the money. <laughs> Where's the money? Who's going to bring it? Let me show you the money. Money, money, money. So it really is showtime for Phil Goff tomorrow. If these numbers don't stack up, Labor's credibility is on the line and his campaign will suffer some serious speed wobbles. Let me show you the money. Right here, I can. No, no, I without can, looking. Can, do, can, no, do you know I'll without look looking? No, I'll, I'll give you the figures just, just to make sure I've got billion. it. The wolf leapt out of bed and gobbled up poor little Red Riding Hood. Because in Goff's real life political story, John Key is definitely the wolf. That's the wolf's head. Yeah, chop the wolf's head right off. But it's just not that easy to deal to Key. That's what you're going to hear in these tapes. What some young turkey thinks of your efforts. You know what it says? Well, thanks for the State House and all the help on the way through, but I want to forget you. That's what it says. In my view, devastating. Callous is not the right description for that statement. It's, it's far worse than that. Peters can change the game. Did you say during that conversation that the ACT Party would be rejigged, would be restructured? I can't even remember saying that. I'm not interested in the transcript. I'm not interested in the transcript. I, I've moved on. I've moved on from the cup of tea. I remember my conversation. John Banks is on the brink of going out a loser here. Uh, John Banks has never been a loser. John, 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 John Banks has never been a loser. John Banks doesn't like losing. John Banks is out to win this election John for Banks, New Zealand. John Banks could lose Epsom. You know that. Yeah, the world could stop turning. So who will you vote for on election day? Oh, I'll vote for myself. Why don't you vote for John Banks? Well, because uh, look, I, I, I'm you know I think it's perfectly fine to vote for yourself when you're standing in a in, in a uh, in a um, an election. It's a yes or no question. Do you want to win Epsom? Uh, look, I. W I <coughs> My, 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 my main task is to get a good, yeah, strong yeah, political uh, party vote. Do you want to win, yes or no? This is when his National Party minder stepped in and tried to stop the interview. Yes or, yes or no? Yeah, so, so, hang on, mate, I'm not finished. I'm not finished, mate. Yeah, 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 I'm, you know, I'm doing my job. Yes or no, do you want to win Epsom? 
I want to uh, do a very yeah, effective yes or, job. Yes or, yes or no? Do you want I've, to I've said all along. I'm concentrating on the party vote. People I'm asking you a yes or no question. You're voting for yourself. I've said before. I'm relaxed. Will you not? Will you not answer yes or no to that question? I'm giving you the answer, and the answer is it's up to the people of Epsom to decide. Yeah, so who's you won't? You won't? You won't? You won't do that? You won't answer that question? Thank you. In fact, that sounds like he is coming now, John. Microphone on. Stephen Joyce has some kind of motorway fetish. It's very odd. The Greens would be happy. Yeah, I'm sure it's a very environmentally friendly bus. So yeah, they'd be happy. They won't be happy that it runs on a road though. <laughs> <laughs> Campaign strategy in one word. <laughs> Buddy, I don't think I'd give you the campaign strategy in one word. A couple of easy ones would have been John or Key. You can really only survive because of the deal well, with no, the Prime no, 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 that's, that's, the voters will decide that, not you. Please listen. Please yeah, listen. I'm listening, Mr. Banks. I think you think that I came up the river on a cabbage boat. You're back though, aren't you, Winston? You're back. The National was heading for their landslide and uh, Labour were trying to build up their capacity. Nick Minute, Winston. Big time. Nick Minute. Nick Minute, Winston. Nick Minute, Winston, big time. This is just your bog standard National Party supporters, Lena, John, just your bog standard Lena with your, I guess your bog standard National Party blue ribbon and your bog standard National Party balloon. Today's about John Key and National and building a brighter future and that's why we're here. It's yeah. bloody exciting. We're yeah. so excited. Yeah. We're proud to be here yeah. for the National Party. And the big surprise, Winston is back. Winston Peters is back with 6.8%. Yeah, I'm not entirely surprised. I mean, at the end of the day, he's taking votes off Labour. And, um, you yeah, know, Labour's votes had to go somewhere. Some went to us and some went to him.